Volkswagen did some things that were wrong. And on behalf of our entire company, I would like to apologize. Apologize sincerely for actions that went against everything our company and its people stand for. It is bigger, about 200 million bigger than analysts had estimated. It gives you an indication as more of these numbers are going to be trickling through at every second of just how big Volkswagen's challenge is going to be. In some way, the numbers are important. They're bad. I think that's we should take note of that. In some ways, though, what may be more important is the conference call later on today. That's when the CEO, the new CEO, Matthias Muller, will get on, ask, answer some questions. Analysts will be grilling him. Remember, they've already set aside $6.5 in provisions, but they still don't have a solid idea of what this is going to cost them and what their actual technical fixes will entail for all those engines. How long will the regulatory investigations uh, take? Uh, let's not forget uh, that if one makes a comparison with the problem that BP had in the Gulf of Mexico, no, that took seven or eight years to resolve. And this problem with Volkswagen, I, I think it's very naive to assume this is going to get resolved quickly. I think you know, we could be having this conversation in three or four years' time. The other uncertainty is what is the damage to Volkswagen's brand um, and how does that translate into a uh, decline in sales? VW has been criticized for many, many years, not just from us, but from other people as well, to be too much focused on growth. Um, the company's been run um, in a too autocratic way. This is a global consumer business, which is just too German, and it needs more diversity. It needs more international people on the board and more people with outside experience. The base of their relationship with, uh, with us is trust. So each car maker needs to do whatever he has to do in order to always maintain this trust alive and strong, which requires obviously high level of transparency, high level of communication, high level of coming forward into whenever there is a problem, recognizing it and try to solve it. German competitors are starting to launch their first and second hybrid, but they've agreed that that's where the market is going. So um, I think there will be a variety of powertrains that work in different markets around the world, but eventually the market will move more towards electrification.